you're not here, you're missing out. This, this show this is the savior, David Ali. And if I love wrestling, and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. Hey, we are back with another edition of We Love Wrestling, We Love. We're going to revert back because some of y'all might have got a piece of the first spotlight, but it had some audio issues. But we had to make sure we got the Savior back here again. We're going to say hallelujah because we got Mr. David Ali with us today. How you doing today, sir? What's up, guys? I'm glad I got to come back. <laughs> he He's the guest that came back the quickest out of anybody, even with audio issues. You know, some people, <laughs> they make us wait six months, but he's back in the bottom right here. Y'all see Door. Y'all know Door. Hi. Hello, hi. We're going to have her score a little bit later. But David, the first question we always ask when we get into it is why do you love wrestling or what started your love for wrestling? Uh, wrestling's just been like, a, I don't know, it's, it's just been, it encompasses everything that I love about, about entertainment. Um, and the fact that it can be considered an art is what drives me also. It combines acting it combines athleticism it combines like violence and these are all the things that i like i know that last one probably sounded creepy but <laughs> these are all the things that i like no it's not creepy now i mean i like violence more violence i say let's get mad disrespectful out here with things uh david i gotta ask you you said it's about uh you know is, is storytelling also important to you because you know i've seen you live man and Let's just Storytelling do. is probably the number one thing. I'm surprised I didn't even list it uh, in that the list of things that make me love wrestling. Um, without storytelling, like there's there's nothing, you know. Um, and the fact that we get to do that in front of people is is the thing that I just that keeps tripping me out more than anything. But storytelling is absolutely number one. Mm. If I had you to name like three storytellers on the independent scene that you would like to work with, because I usually just ask like three people you would like to fight, but three storytellers that you on the independent scene that you could work with that you feel y'all could tell us a good story with, or even your top three storytellers on the independent scene, who would those three people be? Oh, man. Be like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on one now. Yeah, we in a new era now. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, this is not going to be in any order. Um, okay. And there's reasons for all of these. Uh, number one, <laughs> I said new era, but I said number one. Uh, Darius Lockhart. That is somebody who I've been wanting to sell for a very long time. Um, that's the story that a lot of people. That I feel like I don't appreciate enough as a storyteller. Um, I would love to get another second go around with Trisha Dora. Um, I, I actually feel like her storytelling level, story storytelling level has gotten up like really high, and I feel like minus two. And the last time we wrestled, we were we were good, but I feel like now would be the time to like really go at. It. And uh, my last one would be AC Mack. Because mm. that, that's somebody that I've been for a very long time. Uh, we started together in this business, and there's just there's just so much story that, that we're able to tell just because of that. And that's uh, that's my dude. So, guys, the last time David was here, you know, had it had the conversation with him, and I think I may have seen him live like once, but we had never interacted. Literally, maybe two weeks later see this man at an all-women show mission pro it's hard for men to get on that show but david how was that mission pro experience down there for you mission pro is awesome um i've always had an affinity for women's wrestling uh one of my best friends in the world and in wrestling is danny jordan and uh just like being able to travel the united states with her and meet all these other girls that happen to end up being on that show. It's just really nice to see like where I'm from. And like, man, those women, like, they get a show that they could do 
as a guy's name. So I, I'm can. all for it. Shout out to Danny. When, when Danny Jordan coming back? Because, you know, she had the mean girl gimmick and I was really behind it. But she speedy recovery to whenever she come back because she's needed out here in the game. So, David. Most I can say about her is uh, just. Uh, most I can say about her is just keep your eyes open. OK. OK. That's what's up. My eyes be wide open because, you know, I'll be watching everything out here now. David, you you was in the South. Now you up in the Midwest. It's like you you conquered the Southern territory, or you got your name out there a lot. Now you're in the Midwest. How, how did how, how's the scene in the Midwest for you different from the South? Um, one thing that I hadn't uh, I don't know that hadn't really clicked for a very long time with me because I was in the South, and I was uh, you know at the top of the ladder before I left was that everywhere you go, everywhere you start, you start at the bottom again. Um, and gratefully enough, uh, starting at the bottom hasn't been too hard out here in the Midwest, but um, you know, it's, it's a steady, it's a steady course that I've got to run, but so far so good. Um, I've got several bookings out here. And if you go to my Instagram and my Twitter, you'll see all those shows that are coming up in November, December. Man, but, West, uh, you know, as, as far as Chicago, being out here is dope. Uh, I've gotten to be a lot of good guys out here, and I've got to be, I've gotten to get reacquainted with some of my friends that have moved up here as well. So, oh, that's it's fun. it's a really good experience. You, you ready for them Chicago winners? <laughs> I'm originally I'm originally from Rhode Island, Newport, Rhode Island. So ah, I, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Yeah, you're good, <laughs> you're good <dude. laughs> Since I was just trying to we'll explore see. Dora, uh, <laughs> it's up to you to explore a little bit. Dora, go ahead, uh, pick his mind right quick. All right. Hi, hello, I'm Dora. Nice to meet you. Hello, Dora. Hi. <laughs> okay, so these are going to be like, they're just random questions that I just like think of before we start and stuff like that. Um, and some I've asked okay. before, obviously. Um, but I guess I'll start with um, if you could be reincarnated as any animal, what would it be? I would choose a phoenix. I mean, those exist. <laughs> no, give me whatever you want. But a phoenix, because a phoenix can die and come back and live forever, yeah. man. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Like he said, I'm going to come back, but I'm going to live forever, but I'll be right back. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's good. I always, I'm, I picked a hippo. I just, I, there, I have a long story behind it, but my, mine's a hippo, so... Uh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite food? I know you've been around a lot of okay. places. So what was, what was your favorite food, I guess, from anywhere, from any state, any country, anywhere? My favorite? Oh, man. Uh, let's say uh, there's a lot of good food everywhere, but I would have to mm -hmm. be uh, my favorite foods are two of the kinds that I can't eat, uh, hamburgers and pizza. Oh, my gosh, really? That's okay. I'm not supposed to be eating spicy foods. Yeah, so I get it. No, no, I don't. I can't eat a lot of red meat. So the hamburgers, I totally. Mm, I wish I eat them sometimes, but not often enough that I'm like, let me crave this and stuff like that. But no, it's nothing like that. Uh, okay, let me see. Um, what is your favorite show right now? It can be anything like anime, um, like a horror mo shows, like anything like that. Any show that you that you're into right now? Cause I know, I know some people like watch other wrestling stuff and stuff like that, but besides wrestling stuff, like what's your favorite show? Um, right now, me and my girlfriend, Heather Monroe, uh, mm -hmm. we've got, we've been, been watching two shows, uh, uh -huh. She-Hulk. And uh -huh, we're currently uh -huh. going through Arrow. Yeah, so Arrow, Arrow on the CW. And then, oh, Arrow. And then okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. My brother and my mom <laughs> yeah. watched that show, and I just couldn't ever, like, I couldn't get into that or, like, The Flash or, like, I don't know why either, because I love DC, but for some reason it just didn't, like, neither of those shows appeared appealed to me like that, and I'd be like, mm, I think I'll pass, so. Um, let me see, what else First season of Arrow. 
than the rest of them. That's what I've heard. See, everyone always tries to be like, no, give it a chance. And I'm like, I watched the first two episodes, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, because I do that like with shows I'm not too sure that I like. I'll watch like the first and the last episode and I'm like, mm, I guess I didn't miss much. Because I'm not, I don't really get, if oh. I can't get into it, I just can't do it. Yeah, no, I can't. Um, I also got to watch because like Steven, does a lot of his own stunts and a lot of the moves are like wrestling moves and, and you get to see like inspiration comes from from him post mm-hmm. friendship you mean, you mean, you mean. And, oh, it's pretty uh it's, it's like oh i probably probably if i want yeah you know because my brother does parkour too so he's always, he's into like so much other stuff me and him both used to wrestle and stuff like that too so he's just he's about it he's like this is nuts and i'm just like I'm a typical little sister, like, it's not that great, bro. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> um, let me see. I guess, what is one, I guess, a person or a thing? It can be a thing, too, that can always make you smile. Like, no matter how hard the day was or anything like that, what makes you smile at the end of the day? Man, I I am, like, torn between two cheesy answers. Two you can pick them both, then that's fine. We have time. Pick them both. <laughs> pick them both. It's All right. Okay. okay. So my first answer is going to be the one I should go with first. Um, see, my girlfriend after a long That's what I was going to say. Your girlfriend, you better um, say. <laughs> <laughs> see, Heather, after a long day uh, or after a long couple weeks, because, you know, a lot of time we were wrestling. Yeah, on the road. And- mm-hmm. um, that's also yeah, that's also a really good, good time. Um, and I think the other is, uh, you know, wrestling, like being able to step into a ring, or I should say specifically training, because that's like oh. that's like playtime for, me. you know, um, a lot of it's like having a play date. How kids get to go play with their friends. To me, mm-hmm. that's what training's like. It's really uh, therapeutic. And yeah, because you can practice moves and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, during practice and all that. Yeah, yeah, and I could just, uh, you know, the the more time that I get to tighten things up or uh, to just work things, that's just that's that's everything to me. Because a lot of people don't get that, especially mm-hmm. the further south you go or further north you go. Like, it's it's really something that a lot of people don't get to have. But I would yeah. say my secret third option is sleep getting to go to sleep <laughs> oh yes no that's that's a good pick too that's a good pick no one's picked that yet so i'm glad but i did enjoy your picks though that was good they were good um let me see what else i have on here because i'm super blind right now um <laughs> i guess who is your uh favorite mission pro because that's how i kind of met terry and everything through all of this was through mission pro um i don't think i was at the show you were at though but um who is your favorite wrestler can't pick Thunder Rosa though. I'm not gonna let you pick Thunder Rosa for Mission Pro. Anyone else <laughs> besides that? Because <laughs> that's an obvious choice. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Hola Dead has always been somebody who uh, who's always had my back for a lot of stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. I met her a long, long time ago with Thunder Rosa in Texas, um, mm-hmm. and I love seeing like again where she started and where she's at now. Uh, Genocide is another one of my favorites. She just won the Mission oh, Pro her. Women's Championship. Yes. So, shout out to Genocide. Uh, yes. And King's also another one. I love, girls, I love wrestlers that are like, that, that will fight you, you know? And that's that's a yes. big girl that will fight you. So, <laughs> um, there's a lot of good women that's on that that's on that show, but uh, I, I think those got to be my, my top three. Uh, Ruthie yeah. Smiles, she just debuted on there at the show that I was at. Uh, she's a good mm-hmm. one. The Renegade Twins have been popular. I um, love them so much. I've met them a few times. Yes. I still don't know which one's which. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, it's like so simple. <laughs> yeah, what do you good. mean? Will David, uh, The Rock or Stone Cold? The Rock or Stone Cold? The Rock? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> the Rock all day. <laughs> the Rock all day. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We can still be friends and stuff. Um, you know. I mean, The Rock is so cold, we're friends. I mean, <laughs> The Rock all day, baby. Come on. The Brahma Bull, the people's champion, the most electrifying man in sports and entertainment. I'm not going to argue that he's not all those things. You know, I just, 
I don't know. I prefer Stone Cold. So I don't 1914. Know. I've never hit a woman either. <clears throat> <gasps> we don't have to talk about things like that. Oh my goodness! Don't mm. talk about don't talk about Steve like that. Jk. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he he, he said he's, like, he's never. Lying. I don't think he won lying, but well, uh, from Texas, you know. So I can't say if it wasn't for The Rock or Stone Cold, wrestling today wouldn't be the same. It would uh, not. The way that heels and the way that baby faces conduct themselves would not be the same if it wasn't for Stone Cold or The Rock. They really like revitalized and created a whole new spectrum of telling stories yes exactly Ugh. don't worry it's a tough question it gets it's a stumper for a lot of people don't worry don't worry <laughs> you yeah, didn't yeah. right or wrong so david i saw you at another event in a in a triple threat match uh you came walking out with a purpose you it was like it was david versus two goliaths because they was both bigger than you but you held your own in that ring. Um, you was at Hit Club Pro. You know, no regrets. Do you have any regrets from that show? I do. Oh, secret answer. Yes, I do. I do. Um, I love Hit Club, Hit Club Pro. Um, I think it's very, um, I think it's, it's very different from a lot of the shows that I've done and the sense of a creator freedom and just the, the purpose that it has in North Carolina. Um, and every time that we have a show, we've only had two, but every time that like one has come up, um, I've always wanted to perform my best just because it is on IWTV. Um, it is controlled by people who I respect and I want them to do well. And I definitely felt like I could have been a better version of myself that night. And I'm not saying that would result in a win or a loss, but I definitely could have been a better version of myself uh, that night. And let's just say the next time that you see me in the Hit Club Pro ring or doing anything for them, you're gonna get a very, very different, very, very serious David Ali. And it's gonna be one that's, that's gonna be a good reason why I was number 280 in the PWI. More serious than you already are? More serious than I already am. Uh, wrestling is everything to me, and I'm out to prove that I am one of the best in the world, if at least not the United States. So every time that I get on there, every time I get on anybody's TV, anytime I get on anybody's computer, anytime I get in anybody's ring, I have to prove that I deserve to be there. And I have to do that for myself, and I have to do that for the people booking me, watching me, following me. So in that respect, I don't feel like I held up my end of the bargain, but the next time I will. Let's talk about some bargains and following you. Uh, I'm gonna say a word and you let me know what's the deal with um, overkill. <laughs> what, do you, what about overkill? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with Overkill? As in regards to what are we like together? Are we split up? Yeah, y'all together. Y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all good. Are everything on the up and up? You have brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys get into arguments. You guys get into fights, but you're still brothers and sisters, right? Okay. Family. So We're still a family. Um. Every once in a while, you get like a little kid, young person who just thinks that, you know, they're, they're too big for the britches that they got on. And that happens to be Carly Bravo at this point. You know, he thinks he's uh, he's done these GCW, he's done these Black Wrestlers Matter shows, and he thinks that he does matter. But in the grand scheme of things, he's still got a long ways to go. You know, he's still got yards, miles to go. And it's my job as somebody who helped bring him to this level to no. educate him just where exactly he's at. And it's below me. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's your job as the older brother to hand out those lessons that they need to know to grow up. And Carly's gonna do a lot of growing up, especially in October. Mm. Not everyone can be 281, you know? Um, 
You know, I like this door. <laughs> right. Everybody can be 281. <laughs> Not everyone can be. There's only one slot available for that number. You know? That is true. How does it feel with getting your ranking on there? Um, you know, getting being recognized. That you know, the 500 best. That's that has honestly been. Um, I and every time I've been asked this question, I've been confused on if I want to use the word goal or dream because at this point it's both. You know, it's a goal that I met and it's a dream that I've had to be in that magazine. Um, Ever since wrestling has entered my life, PWI has always been there to tell the story, uh, especially before like everything started being on the internet. That's how you found out the feuds. That's how you found out the rankings. That's how you found out who was out there. It was PWI. And it's always it's always been a dream of mine to be in that magazine some form, some fashion, some, some kind of way. And especially to see a lot of my cohorts, um, the, the first two people I ever started training with it's AC Mack and Austin Theory. And as you already know, Theory's been in there a few times. Mack has been in there a couple of times this year being 25, which is insane. But I've I've always I've always been playing catch up with those two. And to finally be in there, it's it's it, it really lets me know that hey, finally I'm recognized. Finally I am a legit wrestler to be on the same list as like Dolph Ziggler, CM Punk. Roman Reigns, you know, John Moxley. There's a lot of actual wrestlers <laughs> that I've grown up watching that I've been fans of, and I'm on that list with them. And to debut at 280, because it's 280, not 281, but to debut at, at 280 is it's insane. Like, why am I that high? Like, what, <laughs> what did I do? Uh, what can I keep doing to get higher or to stay like in that playing field? But to be just right below half the cut is is insane to me, and to to be pictured no less is insane to me. So there's a lot of things that I've said in promos, a lot of things that I've said on these podcasts. It's a lot of things that I've that I've hoped for that now I have to live up to. And if anything turns anything into a diamond, it's pressure. So that's these are the things that I live for. Mm. So what did you do? David, you've been living the life. We've been watching what you're doing at Southern Honor. All I mean, come on. You know you're supposed to be on that list. Yeah. So what did you do to be at 280? Like, come on. You don't have to be <laughs> humble here, friend. You don't have don't, to be Don't be humble. I mean, you walk to the ring, you're not humble. Don't be humble right now. When he get when he's in the ring, let me okay. Yeah. I got to, yeah, I got to go into it. <laughs> so when the man's in the ring, it's so crisp. And it's like You'd be like, damn, did he really just kick this dude in the head? Because I've seen him kick two people live. And it looked like it's real kick. Because I don't know. Remember the Randy Orton kick? That's what I'm talking about. He kicked, bow. He kicked Moses like three times. Watch Hit Club Pro on IWTV. He kicked uh, JP Harlow twice. Watch that on Title Match Network. It's greatness. You know, he's going to say, I don't know what I do to get to 280. Like, come on, David. If you, had to pick a, if you had to pick a song, then what song would you use to describe your career? Um, man, that's no, that's a hard one. Uh, man, that's that's a hard one. There's like so many different songs that I can like th that I can think about, like in the gym while I'm working out, thinking about like the future and the present, the past. Um, my entrance theme, My Name is Human by Highly Suspect, that's that's a song that like once I hear it, I'm just dialed in and it just represents everything. Uh there's a line in there that, that says, I'm ready for love and I'm ready for war, but I'm ready for more. And that's just that's that's every day. I'm ready for more. And there's a final line, one of the final lines in there that I'm more than just a man. And that's what I have to believe every time that I step in the ring, step through those curtains, anytime that I have to do anything that revolves around this, like I have to be more than just a man to create longevity, to create a sense of, of myth about myself. I have to do that. And that song really, really dials it in. Really dials it in. Uh, so David, if you wasn't wrestling, cause you said wrestling's your everything, right? <laughs> 
what would you be doing? I, I oftentimes think about like what another me is doing in the multiverse somewhere. Uh, and like, I don't I'm either doing this or I'm not alive, man. I don't know. Like, um, I think, I, I think in a, in another life, maybe, um, if I had to like choose anything, um, I think I'd, I, I think I'd be a writer, mm. a writer or, or a director. Um, I like, I like imagination. Um, and I, I like, I like storytelling. I like thinking outside the box. I like, I like to make people's emotions go from yay to nay. You know, I, I like, I like, I like doing that. So that, that's probably the closest thing I'd probably be doing if I wasn't a wrestler. It's gotta be something sick with me. Cause I like when people be like, yeah. And then like, mm, I'll be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I see that live at events, I'll be like, Oh, this right here, this is what I'm here to see. Even sometimes when people get me, I'll be like, Oh, ooh, we got me. That, <laughs> that, that, that does something to me, David. Ooh. Okay. So, what is the one thing that you're addicted to <laughs> that's perfectly legal? <laughs> they're political answers. <laughs> and then they're, it's not a PG show. What am I addicted to? I'm addicted to working out, honestly. Um, being in the gym, staying fit, like I'm addicted to it. Um, the diet. I'm off and on about being addicted to it or not, but like staying in the gym, that's that's something I'm addicted to. Um, that and probably uh, anything comic book related. Mm, X-Men or Avengers? Avengers? <laughs> I'm, Cap, bro. Cap, Captain America is on the Avengers. That's my dude. That's my dude all day. Okay. Superman okay. or Batman? Batman, that's fine. Superman or Batman? Superman. <laughs> Batman. Batman is who we are right now, but Superman is an example of who we could become. Damn it, I like that. Fuck. I mean, not lying there. I don't like that yet. Oh, God. Uh, Dora, ask him a comic book question. I'm trying to think of one. What, like any comic book question? Like, yeah, what's your favorite comic book right now? You what are your feelings on Jubilee from X-Men? Because I personally <laughs> find her to be a waste of space. What? I do not, not Jubilee. Jubilee. Hold on. No, we're not doing this. I'm I got to set you straight. You told me to ask. I got to set you straight. She she opened up the door. Okay, I got to tell her, okay? Go so ahead. Jubilee is very important, okay? And this is the reason why. Jubilee a lot of times when she's portrayed in the comic books, she's either just getting her comp or her, her powers or she's just now starting something. So she is us, the reader or the viewer, going through this experience with people who are already well trained and stuff like that. So she's integral, especially in the nineties. She was like the nineties kid. So that's bad. No, no, I, don't think so. I think I came in the world on storm. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I already had my powers. I don't know what's taking y'all so long. I don't know. I respect that. <laughs> I, I just didn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get the. I understood her symbolism and everything, but I was like, I'm not like that. So I'm. I, no, <laughs> your fireworks mean nothing to me, Jubilee. I'm sorry. Goodness, just Dang, get not going at Jubilee like this. I know what a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater, okay? I didn't know it was her, like but... that. Like, dang, who else you don't like? <laughs> One more question. Very I got to see your mind. Marvel, okay? I'm a very. Uh, I prefer DC, so my Marvel picks are very like specific, like, and you I have a real DC. Hate. Huh? What'd you say? Are you excited about the new Black Adam movie? Uh, both, both Dora and David. Ladies I first. I very much fucking am. I have. I would. I didn't. I hadn't looked at any of the um, the anything about it really because I was like, I'm just gonna see what they do. So when they finally dropped the trailer like a week or two ago, I was like, oh, I love it. That that's all I could say. I, I'm really excited about it. Like I'm about it. I I'm ready. I I choose to rock in this situation. You know, I'll say that. So. <laughs> My uh, I don't know. I can't. I I think it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna go see it, see how like 
uh, everybody's gear looks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go hoping to see like Henry Cavill have a cameo somewhere in there. But I just can't get back on board with DC films right now until they figure out what they're going to do. And it seems like that's going to be a huge question mark. But um, I mean, it's it's there. So it might as well, it'll it'll quell me until the next Marvel movie comes out. Because I know those for a fact are going to be good. So <laughs> Man, DC kind of just, I don't, I like Shazam. For some reason, I like the Suicide Squad. And then, you know, after that, I don't know what they doing. They just, they, I want them to get better because there's so much stuff they can do, but I don't know. I don't know. Batman disappointed me. The Batman, I didn't even watch it. I couldn't do it. I, I thought it was on it three I times. tried. I, I tried multiple times to put the effort into it, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get past a lot of things in it. Did you the see the story was good. Story was good. Story was great. I'll say yeah. that. But I just, it was the actors for me just couldn't, I couldn't envision it. You can even play David. Hmm? Um, did you see the Snyder Cut? Yes. I did, but it was like what they really do. Add like 20, 30 minutes of some stuff that. It's like so much better. It's yeah. so much better. The way it looks like. Even the Flash, Cyborg's important. No, oh no, no. I love that. The Justice League stuff, like all of that stuff I liked. It was the latest Batman with whatever, Edward, or I don't remember his real name all the time, but I just couldn't watch that movie. Like I tried so hard. I was like, Zoe Kravitz, I like it. Let me try it. I couldn't even, I didn't, It did. they didn't do the role for me the way I wanted them to do it, I guess. I was like, mm, this isn't convincing me. I have to turn it off. So I tried, I gave it 35 minutes. It was, you know. I was like that with Miss Marvel, so I feel that. I haven't even seen Miss Marvel. No, no offense to you know. No, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. So, David, uh, it's time for you to put yourself over. We had some comic book talk, y'all. We we may do some comic book talk. A lot of people been out here, but we call this the uh, "put yourself over" moment. This is where you let our people know your social media. Anything that you got coming up, Midwest totally forgot he's going to be in Fort Wayne in October at Heroes and Legends, um, number 18. If you know I was at the first, I was at like 2 through 13. Um, but Heroes and Legends, look it up on Facebook. They out there get tickets. They do the Fan Fest in the morning starting at 12. And then at nighttime, they do a show the night before they got a party. The day after they do something else, but check out Heroes of Legends and Fort, Fort Wayne. But David, uh, let them know shows you got coming up, ways they can support you, how they can get your merch. Uh, we just want you to put yourself over. All right. So you can follow me on social media on Twitter at the David Ali, and you can follow me on Instagram at real David Ali. They're different because you know everybody's got something these days. Um, I have a pro wrestling tease. Website, um, David Ali store at Pro Wrestling Tees. Go there now. Um, right now, I've got a new shirt, Still Your Savior for Still Your Four, which is a Southern Honor anniversary show that's going to be on October 7th. That's going to be my next match coming up where you'll see me kick the hellacious crap out of Carly Bravo and Contra. Uh, the next show after that. You can find me at IWE in November, kicking the crap out of Carly Bravo yet again. I got to teach that boy some respect, okay? I'm going to be at Pro Wrestling Epic on November 4th up here in the Midwest in Indiana. And um, you already said I'm going to be at Heroes and Legends on October 28th, going against Black Disc Jack. And that is going to be my next Hit Club Pro appearance. So as you remember, I said the next time that I'm going to be representing or doing anything with Hit Club Pro, you're going to get a very, very different David Ali. And Suzette needs to understand that because I'm tired of not being seen. So it's time to get saw. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You better start looking for this person. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's how she ain't. 
Uh, anybody want to put money on that match against him and Blackness in Fort Wayne? I, I'm taking no. Ali. Uh, I got 50. Door, you taking Blackness? No, I'm not. I don't bet. I'm not a gambler. Oh, okay. okay, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. No. Uh, David, one last question before we get out of here. I asked you three storytellers. But I hear you, you just fired off at Carly while we was talking and everything. Is there two other people on the independent scene that you feel like need to learn a lesson and need to say hallelujah to the savior? Two others on the independent scene? Yeah. That I have not named yet. That you haven't named. We got AC Mack, we got Trisha Dore, we got Darius Carter, we got Carly Bravo. You have AC Mack also. Oh, I got, hold on, hold on. I got, I got some, I got some. Wait, I have a list, I have a list. <laughs> um, we talked about Black Wrestling Matters, but right now there's a, no offense to you guys, but there's a light-skinned brother holding the title right now, JDX. Come on, bro. Bro, there's two letters of his name that promptly show you what the future is going to be. That's D, okay? And that's X for getting him out of the spot, okay? It's going to be mine. That's coming up soon. I don't know if anybody knows that, but that's coming up soon. Um, Calvin Tankman is one that I need to get my hands on. Yeah. Why are you coming at my, why, why are you coming at my people, though? <laughs> Listen, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All our people, okay? The whole entire point of this is to move up the ladder, okay? And I got to knock some people off the ladder to get those spots, okay? I'm only going to get better by beating people who think they're better than me, all right? There's a whole list of 500 people in this world that are considered to be the best wrestlers, okay? There's 279 people ahead of me whose asses I've got to kick so that way I can be in those spots. That's true. Uh, Tankman, you know what I'm saying? Naptown, we see you. JDX, new Black Wrestlers Matters champion. Uh, he was sponsored by We Love Wrestling on the last event. And, I, you know, if y'all heard the message that we gave, he the champion now. That's all I'm going to say. So David Ali want that shot. I mean that. Let's make it happen, somebody. Contact me when y'all do so I know where it's going on at. Don't mess it up. Um, damn, he won't tank me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> thank you when you hear this. I mean, he in the Midwest. Make it happen. Uh, man, Dora, you got anything else to say to David? I ain't, I didn't expect him to name those two people at the end. You know, are you, are you struck right now? Are you, are you at a loss for words? Kind of got me excited, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. It's stuff that you can make happen because it's in the area. You feel what I'm saying? It's in the area. We in the area. Welcome to the Midwest, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to take over, brother. Woo-wee. No, no questions, door. No. David, second time. We we got through this, people. It was still some audio issues that you, you might, you probably won't, you hear them at the very beginning, but we got through this. Even still, next time I see him pulling the camera out so we can do a face to face live. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven years pro, 280 on the PWI, sponsored by Wrestling Over Anything, everything. So when he say it's wrestling or nothing, he mean that shit. Thank you, David Ali, for giving us your time, sir. Thank you guys for having me. I can't wait to come back. Oh, man. We got that open door policy. You want our people, just let us know. Uh, door in the bottom, she explored with her questions. I'm Trey D. And like I always say, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too street, not for the culture. Ooh. Tell me when I got wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. Not here, you missing out. Is this show? Is this-